Anyway, back to my motherfucking hot pocket. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. So what you're telling me is you lied to my motherfucking face, but it makes it okay because you came back and told the truth, right? No, it don't work like that. Stop touching my shit. This is my shit, bro. I don't ask you for money. I don't ask for handouts. I buy this shit myself for me. I don't buy shit for you because you're ugly and I don't like you. Like, really, if you were, like, maybe more attractive and I actually like you, if you were, like, more attractive and you weren't such a fucking douchebag, sure, I'd, like, do things for you. But you're, you're ugly and I don't like you. So, I don't do stuff for you. <clears throat> Niggas just feel the need to disrespect me. And, it's gonna catch up to him one day. I don't know how, but it's gonna catch up to him one day. If I don't do it, Karma's gonna do it. But, I think I'm gonna do it. Because Karma, she sometimes takes too long, you know? So, I think I'm gonna do it. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. But, it, it's gonna catch up to him. And it's gonna hurt. Maybe not physically, but you're gonna you're gonna feel it, and I guarantee you won't touch anything of mine again, bitch. You won't motherfucking have my name in your mouth when it's unnecessary. Truth be told, it's never necessary for my name to be in that nigga's mouth. I don't talk to you. I don't like you. Like this nigga stays downstairs all the time. That's why I don't go downstairs. Only go downstairs when that nigga is not there. Like, okay. I don't have a digital cable box in my room. I just have, like, regular cable. Basic cable. There's a digital cable box downstairs in the living room. That's why he's down there all the time. Like, he don't gotta... Whatever, he's a fucking loser. But anyway, <laughs> I go downstairs, you know. There's DVR down there. So, okay, I record the Bad Girls Club, whatever else the fuck I wanna record. And then I watch it later, because I can't watch it then, because this ugly-ass nigga is on the couch, and I don't like you, so whatever. But anyway, I go... Record the Bad Girls Club, and then I'll watch it later when this nigga's not there. Which is hardly ever, because like I mentioned, niggas don't got a job. So, you know, there's you can't really go anywhere when you ain't got no job and no money. I mean, nigga, there's sometimes when, I mean, I got a job, and there's sometimes I can't go nowhere. I'm on front, but shit. I get over it, you know? This nigga's like in a perpetual state of brokenness. So, like... <laughs> Oh my god! Let me tell you what this nigga said one time. This nigga's on the phone. He's like, oh, well, I'm presently broke at the moment. Motherfucker, you are broke at every moment. Every moment. I cannot think of a moment where you aren't broke. I can think of some moments where he wasn't broke, but that was, you know, like I said, when the Jeffersons were still moving on up. That's when that nigga wasn't broke. And that was... Listen, I won't even go all the way into it because it's a loaded story and I don't have the time. I am Ray Charles to that bullshit. But anyway. So this nigga said I'm broke at the moment. So I'm just sitting up here. I can hear this nigga. That's how loud he talks. He's downstairs on the phone. But I can hear you all the way the fuck upstairs. With my door closed. Because I don't leave my door open because I might see his ugly ass walk by and I can't take that. But anyway. So... You're downstairs on your phone, and I can hear you all the way fuck up here? That's unacceptable. This nigga said, oh, I'm presently broke at the moment. I'm just up here like, nigga, you broke at every moment. This is not new information. Don't be telling people. Like, these niggas must not know. The person you're on the phone with must not know you that well. Because if they think that, oh, he's just temporarily broke, he'll get himself together. Meanwhile, I'm upstairs like, yeah, to, you're still broke. You're still ugly. I don't understand, but <clears throat> I don't know. It's just it's just difficult to deal with, you know. Oh, that's his ugly ass right there. Look. Anyway, the nigga sent me a friend request on Facebook. So I said, oh, okay. I was on my phone. Now, when you're on your phone, Facebook for Android, you cannot delete friend requests. You can hit the not now button on that bitch, <clears throat> but you can't delete them. No, I was on Facebook mobile. You can't delete them from mobile. So I hit the not now button, and it hid that fucking request. The request is still hidden. I'm about to delete that shit as soon as I finish with this video. But anyway, I'm like, nigga, no. I'm not adding you in the front on Facebook. 
I have to live with you. I have to hear your ugly ass every day. Every morning you in the bathroom doing whatever the fuck it is you do. Yeah? Jasmine's upstairs. She usually don't come out her her room. You heard him though, right? You see, I'm not bugging. I'm not bugging. This nigga stays with my name or his mouth. What do your friend need to know about me for? You wanna know why I don't come out my room ugly? It's cause you ugly. That's why. <laughs> but anyway. So this nigga sent me a friend request. I'm like, nigga, I live with you. I gotta put up with your ugly ass every day. I don't wanna see you on my news feed, okay? So, you know, I'm not now that nigga. And he's still in the not now section. He's about to be deleted and I don't, I might block his ass because I don't want to be your friend on Facebook. I'm not your friend in real life. I'll be your friend once I get my motherfucking money. But when's that gonna happen? The motherfucking fourth of never. Y'all don't understand. I just be wanting to, I'm not a violent person. I talk a lot of shit like, oh, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Well, I never said that to nobody. I don't beat the shit out of you. That's a little too much. But I talk a lot of shit, but I'm not a violent person. But this nigga, he makes me want to put hands on his ass. Like, like with a fucking cast iron skillet, just smack it right across his motherfucking dome piece and just knock him out. Put his ass in a coma. Because I really don't like that nigga. I don't like his ass. And if you think I'm overreacting, motherfucker, I invite you to come live here. I invite you to come live here. I will stay at your motherfucking house. You stay here. You stay here one night. One night. I will make up my bed real nice for you. I will light some scented candles. I got some vanilla scented candles on my window, so I will light them bitches for you. Make it real cute up in here. <laughs> And you can stay. You'll be as comfortable as possible, but you wouldn't be able to enjoy it because this nigga is mad, ugly, and loud, and just abrasive, and rude, and nasty, and fucking broken, and unemployed. So, like, you wouldn't even be able to enjoy it. Like, you could just stay in here all day, and he would still get out Trust me. It happens to me every day. I don't come out this motherfucking room. Nigga, I got off of work at 3.30 today. It is 8 motherfucking p.m., and I'm still in this bitch. I don't go out. Only time I'm out there is when I come through the front door. I come right up these steps. I come right into my room. And this is where I'm at. This is where I'm at. I don't go downstairs because I run the risk of actually having to be in this nigga's presence. Having this nigga breathe in my air. And I can't deal with it. I don't need it. And I know niggas who know me who know this nigga and be like, whoa, she's going in. But I bet you they will say I'm telling the truth. They might not know everything I'm saying in these videos because they don't live here, but you niggas know. I know you do. It's been so long since I made a video, but this shit just got me, it just disturbed my spirit. And I just said, you know what, Jesus? I I said to the base God, I said, I'm going to have to go off on a nigga if they keep trying me. If a nigga keeps trying me, then that nigga will be the first one to get popped off. Like I said, I'm not violent, but shit will get real. I'm so serious. I Listen. Listen. Like I said, I don't fight, so my hands are probably, like, fucking trash. But listen. There's a couple knives downstairs. There's a couple heavy-ass pans downstairs. We could, we could get it cracking up in here, nigga. I will. You know what? I will. This motherfucking fan behind me. I will. Put this shit to your motherfucking skull if I have to. Shit is so real. And it's tragic because it shouldn't be this real. Like, you should have, like, you know, peace and, you know, quiet in your home. But no. I don't have either one. 